So I am here to tell you all about what is in subscription box number three. So this is your August box. So this is what you can look forward to touching down right at the beginning of August. And I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but this could be my favourite box to date. And it's all about stamping and die cutting together. So we're going to cover loads of techniques all about using your stamps and, and die cuts in conjunction with each other. But the box is cram packed full okay should we have a look what's inside so of course we open it up and as you know every box you're starting to get used to them now it's the experience every time you open the box so when we open up and have a look inside and unwrap the tissue paper you can see the stamps and dies that we've got in this set so if i show you this is the stamp set and let's take it out and have a really really good look at it okay now the stamps, let's put it on some, something white here, right? You've got this beautiful floral design. Now, this is one of these flowers that layers up multiple times. It actually layers up to do different types of flowers, which I'm going to show you. And you've got the leaf. Now, imagine having to cut around this leaf with that jagged edge. It would be nigh on impossible. But it doesn't matter because this is when you get the die cuts to go with it. So you get the die cut for the leaf. So you can see you've got that lovely jaggedy edge and then all of the embossing detail is going to emboss perfectly over top of where we've got the stamp. So you're going to stamp and then die cut over it. Make sure you watch the videos where I walk you through this. It's the same with the flower die. So if I take the flower out, oh, just wait till this is you at home with this, take them out of the packet. Again, you can see the beautiful embossed detail that we're going to have on the petals. And I'm going to show you how to shape the petals in a lot of the videos that we do. So you can see you get the base flower shape, but you get those lovely little veins coming in the petals and they're going to marry up beautifully with the embossing. So if I just show you how these are going to look when they're made into cards, okay? Oh, it's too many cards to show. Um, in its most simple form, this is how it's going to look. So when I say that these petals layer up multiple times this is three layers of that flower all brought together and then those beautiful leaves shaped off at the edge Isn't that fantastic okay and of course we get into the best bit all the extra papers and the accessories to finish it off the inserts that will go in the middle they're all included in the kit this time okay so you've got the stamps this is the first stamp and die set where you've got the beautiful flowers and you've got the leaves to match and then all these little things so the rose speaks of love silently with a language known only to the heart isn't that beautiful now it doesn't look very much rosy here however that same dye has been used to create this rose here can you see how different that is how different it looks done in different colors with the petals shaped in different ways but that is exactly the same die set as what we've done here so just think of all of the different types the different flowers the different styles that you're going to be able to do when you master this okay that's just the beginning we've only looked at the first few pieces in the box so you've got the dies if i get those there and the matching stamps right for the flower then of course all of the accessory pieces so we've got the um that was the envelopes i was showing you and the card blanks so you're getting in here the full pack of card blanks and so they're all um they're the smaller size cards so they're the basic cards like this okay because the focus of this one is about creating beautiful floral pieces okay but don't just think that you have to do the cards like this or like this you know we're going to cover off doing things like um, easel cards. So you can do your easel cards and whatnot with these. They're not just all those basic shape cards. So you get the card blanks and the matching envelopes. And of course, the printed papers. So the printed papers were cut down to the exact mat and layer size that you're going to do on the front of the card. So can you see, these are the lovely papers that you're getting in there. Um, and you're getting multiple ones of each design. So you'll see this is what we've used on a lot of the samples that we've got that support this box, okay? That's the papers. Obviously, you've got the papers. Um, oh, we've, there's another stamp set in here. Let me show you the extra stamp set. I'll lift this out and put that up against this so that the camera can see it. So we've got here, uh, be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Thank you. You're my sunshine. Wishing you a day wrapped in happiness where flowers bloom. So does hope. Happy birthday. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Uh, live, laugh and love. And what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls the butterfly. Richard Bach, that's beautiful, that. So you get that extra stamp set to finish off your card. So, for example, when you saw these ones here, you can see they were all finished off 
with those extra little sentiments and these are just cut out from the beautiful backing papers not only the sentiment stamp set but i've also put in there a pack of colored cards now this is brilliant for you doing your die cutting on as well as doing your matting and layering okay so i've included the rich deep ones and then some of the different shades of green so for example when you saw this one here these are all stamped and die cut onto those colored backing papers right but it gets better right because in here you probably thought that was enough you probably thought that was everything to go at but i thought you know if we're doing stamping and die cutting let's double it up let's go with another set of matching stamp and dies so you've got the butterflies let's get these out of the bag as well and show you right so butterfly is absolutely gorgeous what i've done is i've given you two different styles of butterflies but the die cut to match so when we lift the dies out it's a huge box this one a huge box and um, when you lift the dies out you can see the butterfly outline die is going to cut around both of these so you've got different styles of butterflies you can work with but then in addition to that you've got the butterfly cut in detail die so you can either die cut or you can die cut and stamp you've got the options because you've got both in there so if i show you what this looks like in its most simple form this is just the die so beautiful design with the stamps that we've got in here with the background papers that we've got on this set and um, just using only the butterfly die if i show you this one this is using that big thick stamp the one that's on the top and then it's been die cut around so you've done that big stamp and then cut around with the die shape this one here a little bit of a mix of everything the background butterfly if i just show you that isn't that beautiful the background butterfly has been stamped the inner butterfly has been stamped and die cut so you can layer the two up you've also got there in there the lovely little um background leaves that you've got from the other set because of course you can mix and match the two together and then even this one i thought this was fantastic so this is using one of the patterned papers so you've got one of the plain papers behind which you've got in your set then die cut the shape because you've got that outer die cut then stamp the smaller butterfly and die cut that into the center it just shows how many different options it is you've got to work with okay then to finish telling the whole story we've included your inserts so these are to go on the insides of your cards to decorate them so all the inserts are cut ready to size and then you've got some large a huge pack of colored cardstock great for your die cutting and um, as well as your matting and layering on your cards so these are your pastel shades so you've got the smaller shade of die cut colors and um, and then you've got the pastel shades to be doing your base cards with so there's a lot a lot 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 in this kit so you've got that colored card you've got the smaller pack of the thicker colored card that you can work with you've got inserts envelopes and your base cards you've then got your patterned papers in this one you've got your decorative stamps that you can use to finish telling the story and then we've got our butterfly stamp and die set and also our floral stamp and die set so it really is a huge box that you can be looking forward to this month tons of techniques tons of ideas when it comes to stamping and die cutting we've pretty much covered everything for you in this box you're going to have so much fun playing with it and what i do want to ask you is please 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 whatever it is you make please share it with us we'd love to feature it on the website we'd love to see it in the facebook group and um, that's the exciting bit for us is seeing what you come up with it so i know you're going to love this box i know you'll be counting down and um, for the first of august arriving and you can just get excited now